Good morning. Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You are knowing what you are wanting? Yes. It moves about, yes? Your desires are thrilling you? Yes. It's fun to have something that you want? When your desires feel good to you, that means that you are not contradicting your own desire with a belief. When your desires don't feel good to you, when you feel doubt or uncertainty or just honoriness that they're taking too long, that means that you've got some habits of thought that are not allowing your desires to manifest. They have already actualized in a vibrational vortex because when life causes you to desire something, it's valid, it's real. And source energy is on it and cooperative components are gathered and there's a vibrational version of it ready for you to deliver into the physical but how do you turn those vibrations to thoughts and emotions and then to manifestations and experiences how does the vibration of your desire your desire that is not small in the beginning but it seems small to you because you cannot see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it yet your physical senses cannot explain it but your emotional senses can if you will pay a little bit of attention we're talking to you today about you creating your own reality it's so important that you know that you are it's important that you know that you get what you think about whether you want it or not that your thoughts matter and they, they matter a lot because your thoughts equal your point of attraction because you live in a universe that is vibrationally based a vibrationally based universe that law of attraction is managing so when you have habits of thought that's what a belief is it's just a thought that you continue to think and law of attraction makes it easy to do that when you have a thought that you continue to think so you develop this vibrational pattern of emitting a signal then even though you have desires that are different from the reality that you are observing the desire that is real cannot be realized by you as long as your patterns of thought oppose it so just saying words like I want it I want more money I want my lover to come to me I want a better lifestyle I want this or that just saying it is really pretty irrelevant because the universe is not hearing your words the universe is responding to your vibration and your vibration is about the thoughts that you are thinking it's also about the words that you are speaking it's also about the actions that you are offering but the universe is responding to how you feel to what you mean the universe is responding to your opinion your opinion about things if you're down on someone they behave just as you expect them to be in many cases unless they are in control of their own vibration which almost no one that you know really is when you're down on yourself you respond to your own opinion about yourself we want you to understand that there is a guidance system within you you were born with it and what it is is a vibrational indicator it's your emotions it's what you call your gut feeling and those emotions let you know the harmony or disharmony the alignment or discord the allowing or resistance between what you're thinking right here right now about whatever it is and what the source within you is thinking about exactly the same thing at exactly the same moment in time because you are not alone here at all you are extensions of source energy and as you come into this physical body you come from non-physical and you focus here but not all of you focuses here a larger part of you remains non-physically focused non-physically focused non-physically knowing non-physically loving non-physically interested in each and everything that you are thinking about or acting about or speaking about so there are two vibrational vantage points that are at play all day every day and that's why you have emotions you have your opinion which is we love you so much 
you know what's coming next usually based upon something that you are observing most of you offer most of your vibration based upon your observation of what is well that slows you way 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 down because you didn't come to regurgitate what is you didn't come to fact check it or to fix it or to change it you came to create you came to take what is as the basis the bouncing off place if you will into so much more because you are an eternal being and even better said you are a creator you are a creator who has the energy that creates worlds at your fingertips flowing to you and through you so many of the ideas and impulses that you have are coming from that non-physical vantage point and really what you're wanting to do is to conscientiously deliberately tune yourself to that broader perspective as much as you can the creative process begins with what we are calling step one which is your coming into conscious realization of something you want that's step one asking so life just causes you to ask all day every day doesn't it when you don't have enough money don't you know you want more when you don't feel good don't you know you want to feel better if you're ornery don't you want to be more clear and playful if someone else is ornery don't you want them to be more clear and playful in other words life causes you to launch these vibrational rockets of desire and you are doing it all day every day so you emanate this vibration of desire and when you emanate this vibration of desire the source within you lines up with it and when we say the source within you we're talking about your inner being yes sometimes you call that your soul we're talking about what you call source or what we call source we're also talking about all those who have lived and know you and know of you and are interested in what you're about we're talking about those who have been here who have been interested in the things that you are interested in we're talking about your parents if they have moved into non-physical we're talking about their parents we're talking about your friends we're talking about the masters that you revere in all phases of life we're talking about everyone who has ever lived is interested don't be humble please accept this interested in you and what you are about right here and now but the question is where's your vibrational frequency what are you tuned to are you tuned to the desire or are you tuned to the absence of your desire when you say I want more money are you feeling the exhilaration of the freedom that that prosperity will bring to you and the freedom to be or do or have whatever you are wanting or are you focused upon the not enoughness of it you can tell by the way you feel because every subject is two subjects wanted and absence of it and the way you feel is your indicator of which you are doing and it is our promise to you that source within you is never focused upon the absence of your desire Ooh, so good to know because that means when you do you're gonna feel it you're gonna feel discouraged you're gonna feel disappointment you're gonna feel blameful or critical in some way you might feel fearful there are all ranges of emotions and the stronger it feels negatively the more out of connection you are with your own desire and the more you are putting the limitations we call it throwing the resistance on your own trail making yourself blind and deaf to the impulses that you would be able to follow if you were tuned into the frequency of who you are so that's what step three is step three is you syncing up with your own desires it's you syncing up with your own vibrational version of your own desires and when you do oh then wonderful things begin to happen Jerry was always talking about how he wanted to write a book called turning thoughts to things so we are with Esther's fast fingers and computers putting that book into reality now turning thoughts to things how do you turn thoughts to things how does your world become the see it hear it smell it taste it touch it world that you are accustomed to and more important why is it that you as humans mostly think that you've got to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it before you can believe it because that's just regurgitation that's just looking at what is that's just sort of maintaining the status quo of wanted and unwanted but if you want to step in to being the deliberate creator that you were born to be then you must find a way to become vibrationally active within your own vibrational reality 
and that vibrational reality is so important we wrote a whole book about it you see it out there on the table it's called getting into the vortex it's called the vortex and getting into the vortex we wrote about it and talked about it for quite a while because we want to convince you that there is a vibrational reality that you have access to that you can feel while you can't necessarily see it not in the beginning you can feel it through your emotions and when you tune into it by caring about the way you feel then what begins to happen is you are now in the receiving mode or in the allowing mode where you are now the translator of impulses and thoughts and ideas and movements that put you on the track of the unfolding of the manifestation that you want and the most important thing for you to understand is that it is that process of the unfolding of your desires that is what the joy of life is all about you did not say I'll go forth I'll think it and bam it will be you said I'll go forth and I'll sift and sort and with some consideration I will personally define and importantly define what is important to me and what I would like to see and then you said and then I will tune myself to the frequency of that desire and I will follow the impulses and I will be the molder of the clay that brings my ideas into reality recently Esther and so many friends like you met in Seattle to get on board a ship to cruise the Alaskan waters we spent a week together on a beautiful vessel the ship left from Seattle it's where everyone met it's where everyone got on board and it was also where the ship ended up after the week it's where everybody got off the ship wouldn't it have been interesting if the captain had said ladies and gentlemen I see you have boarded this magnificent vessel this is also where you will be disembarking and so it's been very nice seeing you now get off <laughs> you are now at the end of your itinerary if you will check your itinerary you will see it begins and ends here so get off of course that feels silly because no one got on to get off no one began the journey to end the journey everyone went for the joy along the way for the unfolding along the way and yet so often you want your fortune to come now your lover to come now we want you to enjoy the journey we want you to enjoy your self-discovery we want you to feel the fullness and importance of your own desire we want you to focus on your own desire we want you to flesh it out with your imagination we want you to watch for evidence of it we want you to be expectant of it we want you to not kill your own desire with the facing of reality because you didn't come here to face reality you came to create reality you are the creator of your own reality you see and so it is so much fun to be you to be in your physical body sifting and sorting and gathering the data and launching the desires and it's so much fun for us because once you launch a desire we give our undivided attention to it we keep the light on it all the time we hold the vibrational frequency of your desire from the moment that you give birth to it and every amendment that you give to it we add that to what we are focused upon as well and that if you've been listening to us at all for these few minutes that we've been addressing you that is why you feel emotion when you are in tune with your own desire you feel elation you feel satisfaction you feel eagerness you are tuned in tapped in turned on you're frisky but when you doubt your own desire you feel uncomfortable you feel discord you feel not enough you feel blameful or self-critical you feel guilty you feel fearful and so your emotions are your key to understanding whether you are in this moment in the state of allowing yourself to be receptive of the impulses and how fun it is don't you find yourself saying oh I just got the best idea you know why you were in the receptive mode you weren't focusing in a way that disallowed you from translating that
That's all Esther's doing here. She's in the receptive mode. She's tuned in, tapped in, turned on. She is up to speed with the frequency of the source within her. And so we can speak freely and openly and seamlessly. We can offer a block of thought to her and she can translate it into the physical word equivalent without any hesitation whatsoever because she's in sync with who we are and every one of you can be too, you see. 